Hey everyone, welcome to the final video in the Simple Character Creation series. Today we'll be doing animation in Blender, and I just wanted to remind everyone that these videos are purely for game jams and especially programmers, not so much artists. So keep that in mind whilst watching. The animation shown off here is super basic, we're not using IKs or anything fancy like that, we're simply just rotating and moving joints. So I hope you enjoy it, and thank you for watching my series and providing me with great feedback. Okay, now we're up to the last section, which is animating. What we're going to do is create a second window over here by left-clicking on these three little lines, and we get the second window. And in this viewport, we're going to change this to the Dope Sheet Editor instead of the 3D view. The reason why we want the Dope Sheet Editor is because it will give us access to our keyframes. A keyframe stores the location, scale, and rotation of a bone at a particular moment in time, which is when we have actually saved a keyframe. Keyframes are really good. It allows us to create full-on animations, and we're going to be creating a lot of them in this video. To begin, we need to make sure that we have the armature selected and that we are in pose mode. We also want to make sure that we are not editing this base file. So what I like to do is if you go to File, Save As, we can type in here the tutorial bot rigged. Uh, whoops. Tutorial bot rigged. Now this is going to be the base file that we can open. And from this base file, we can go File, Save As. And instead of rigged, we can type in something like idle or run. So if I was to type in run here and save as, we now have this run file. And if we make any mistakes here, it won't affect the original rigged file. And we can always go back to the rigged and save as for idle, death, jump, and all of that. To begin animating, as I mentioned before, make sure you're in pose mode. To begin the run, we need to set up the legs and the arms in the initial run position. So let's say we select this joint here, press R, X, and bring it into about here. We can then press R and move it on the Y axis and bring it up. And then select this bone and rotate it on the Y axis again and bring it to about here. We can then select this bone, press R, then go to the X axis and bring it down. We can then rotate it on the Y and bring it out, right click on this joint, press R, press Y and bring it here, right click on this joint, press R, press Y and bring it out. So as you can see we're setting up a pose. We're going to bring this joint here, we're going to right click, press Y and rotate this up. Then if you like, you can press R here, Y, and modify this depending on how you want it to look. So something like that's good. And we can right click here, press R, Y, bring it back. So that's interesting. We actually have a weight painting problem here, but that's fine. We can easily fix this now if you just right click on the mesh, object mode, weight paint. We can right click and see what's happening. So it seems like this whole thing's supported. Let's, I'm going to right click on the spoon and subtract. Let's see what's happening here. Some bone is actually affecting this one somehow. So we just need to figure out which one it is. Ah, there we go, this bone is. So just gonna left click and bring that away. So the root bone was affecting this one down here. I can now press tab, uh, go back to my, so I can go back to object mode, click on the armature and let's continue. So right click this joint, press R, Y and bring that to about there. So this can be the start of the run animation. And to lock this in place, we need to press I then lock. Now what we want to find is the location, 
root, and scale. This will save all three. So if we just left click that, it'll save all three. Right click here, press I, lot rot scale again. Then the same thing for these. And let's get these bones up here. Now that this pose is saved, we can go to something like 20 seconds and right click on this joint here, press R, Y, and let's bring it back to about here. I'm going to press I, up front scale. I'm going to click on this joint, press R, Y, and bring it up to about there. Press I, do the same thing. And you can see the keyframes being saved up here. Right click on this joint, R, Y, and bring it over here. I'm going to not lock it yet because I want to make sure this looks good. So let's select this joint, press R and Y, and let's bring it out to about there. Then what I can do is modify this one, and it looks similar to that. So now I can press I, lock rot, I, lock rot and scale. Then R again, Y, and bring it back. And then I can press R and Y and bring this up a bit. can I, I look around the scale and let's see what's happening here. So this is a bit rotated inward. So let's press R, Z and bring it out a little bit. I can press I, look around the scale. And now if you, if you pan back, you can see what's happening. It's transitioning between. So this is our block outs of the animations. We don't have any in-betweens yet. So we have in-between frames, but we haven't um, added any extra details. So the final thing we wanted to do for this block out is on frame zero, we actually want to take all of the keyframes. So we want to grab, so we want to right click up here and shift right click all of these, control C to copy. Then we'll go from frame 20 to frame 40, control V. And that's the arm. For some reason, they didn't all come over. Let's select this. Go back here. So let's let's try to do this again. So I'm going to select that, this. I'm going to select everything that is moved. Oops, those ones those ones, and these ones. I'm going to click in here, middle mouse, control C, frame 40, control V. There we go. So let's pan back. So that's the first pose, second, first, and then the animation. You can loop again. And now what we can do is add in a few extra details. As you can see, it's pretty static. And we can fix this clipping issue here. So let's go to the, the easiest way to fix this is go to frame 20 and let's see what we can do. So maybe this bone here, we can press R, then X and rotate it. Actually this one, let's press R, Z, let's press R and Y, R and X. There we go, we can bring it a bit more out. So let's see what happens here, look around scale. So that's a bit better. We can go to frame 10 and modify this. So we can select this arm here, press R, then X, and we just bring it out like that. We can press I, lock rot scale, and you'll see now the arm's not clipping there. We can then go to frame 30, press R, Y, uh, R and X, I should say, bring this out. Press I, lock run scale, and you'll see that the arm is no longer clipping. Let's check the other side. So that looks pretty good. So let's select the neck, and let's make this a bit more interesting. We're going to, on frame zero, uh, rotate the head so it's facing one way. So if we're running like this, let's say we press 
R, X, and rotate the head over this way. We can press I, lock rot scale. Then frame 10, it will return to center. Then frame 20, we can move it to the left. So let's press, let's go to the, press R, X, and bring it back somewhere in the center. Press I, lock rot scale. Frame 20, let's press R, X, and bring it over. I, lock rot scale. So one, two. So here, what we can do is select the neck. We can right click, hold shift, and right click these. Control C. We can go to frame 30 and control V. Oops. Let's try that one more time. Control C, control V. Then we can go to this, these frames here, right click, control C and control V. And let's see how that looks. And now the only thing's really static is the the body itself, which will be hard to affect. Uh, what we can try, let's see how this goes. This is a silly idea, but we'll. See how it goes. Let's go to the, the rotation of the joint here in one zero zero zero. Okay, press I, look at scale. Let's go to frame 20. Uh, X, just rotate a little bit. I, look at scale. And now we can do that whole thing where we just, uh, let's right click. And let's actually not use the neck. Let's right click on the root bone. So just select the top bit here, control C. Uh, let's one, two, three, then control V. Then we can select the top one here, control C. And let's go back here, control V. And let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. And that's that's about it. That's how you can rotate and animate a character pretty simply. This is obviously super rough, but you should have learned enough to be able to rig, model, rig, and animate your own characters. And let's see how this looks inside of Unreal. Thanks for watching my series, everyone. I hope you got something useful out of this, and I hope it'll all help you in the game jam for next month. I'm not sure if I'm putting these up in time for the Ludum Dare jam, but if this does help you out in that jam, then awesome. I hope this has been useful. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.